Excellent. Hi, I'm Scott from Scott's Pizza Tours, and I have a problem because I have leftover pizza from yesterday. Yesterday I went to New Haven, Connecticut with some friends. We ate some pizza at some amazing pizzerias, and now my roommate Pat wants to eat some. Pat's holding the camera. He's, all right, he's waving. All right, there he is. He wanted to heat some up, and I said, wait a second, Pat, we can reheat this, because here's the problem. I think a lot of people feel like when they're gonna reheat pizza, that they should use this guy, the microwave. Okay, this is like a graveyard for pizza. This is where flavor dies. Just because the way microwaves work is not the way that uh, it's gonna help retain crispiness of crust. So, we've got some pizza here. This is from, this is from Bar Pizza. And this is a white clam pizza over here. We've got a regular cheese pizza over here. We've got one with bacon and clams on it. We've got bacon and mashed potato. What do you think about that, Pat? Bacon and mashed potato? Uh, that's my front runner right now. Okay, and then we have also got, for this is from Modern, uh, which is a white clam pizza. More standard looking pizza. What do you think? Um, I, choice. I, uh, my, I, I gotta go with this mashed potato and bacon. Okay, yes. mashed potato and bacon. What do you think? Uh, an edge spot or a center, like a sliver? Uh, let's do an edge spot. Yeah, definitely. Cool. So, anyway, you know, this, you know, this is your pizza. It's cold. We just took it out of the fridge. And, you know, I turned on this frying pan because I think this is the best way to reheat a slice of pizza. You know, when you put it inside the oven, you gotta preheat your oven. You're using a lot of gas. With this, what you're doing is you're making direct contact with the heated surface for this slice. So, yeah, sweetness. That was just a little test telling us that we're ready to rock. So, we got that. We're gonna let that simmer a little bit. We may, I don't know, I'm thinking about eating a slice myself and I'm probably gonna do a mashed potato and bacon slice. Wow, it looks like this is a little baby that somebody didn't want to finish eating. Well, well you know, why not? Cold pizza, there's nothing wrong with it, but we got this thing, which is only going to take a minute. Um, well, well, Pat, um, how do you usually reheat your slice? Uh, me, personally, I use the oven. I understand. Here's the thing. Is that with the oven, you put your slice in here, and you've got heat going all the way around it, but really the cold air on the outside of the slice doesn't move. With this, you have the crust directly touching the bottom, and um, this way you're gonna crisp it up. Now it's already been on there for maybe, you know, a minute. I'm gonna stick the plate on there for just a little bit. Now what, what is that doing? Now the heat is gonna get trapped a little bit, and it's gonna melt a little bit of the cheese, just a little bit. It's also gonna heat up our plate, which is gonna be exciting. Now I'm only talking about a few seconds. Mmm. Cause really that's all we need. And by the way, this is, you don't need to use this kind of plate. But, this is what I'm thinking about doing. Now, oh, you know what, I'm gonna throw mine on there. And, this is it. F fast. Well, I'm actually, I wanna test this out. Hand me that and you can take a bite and we'll see if it actually has any crispy crunchiness to it. All right. Here we go. All right. Mmm. Yeah. Now be honest here. Is it warm? Um. Well, the a little bit of coldness of it on the toppings, but the crust itself is warm. I understand. You know what we'll do? We'll do a little bit longer on putting the hat on top of the frying pan. Sure. But wait. But I'm, what I'm hearing is pretty good. I'm yeah. hearing a lot of crispiness. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. I like what I'm hearing big time. Cool. So with this guy that's down on here, with the information that we now have, I broke everything. Okay, we'll stick the hat on there for a little bit longer, and then we'll be done. Wow. So, um, would you call it? How would you compare it to your oven heated pizza? Um, faster. Great. Way faster. Just as crispy. Maybe it's not crispier. Ooh, great. Um, no. Um, yeah. You get plenty to see it cook. You get to kind of use the frying pan. Cool. It's delicious. This is very good. Awesome. Cool. 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 Here, wait. Take a bite and then hang on to this because I'm going to go grab my slice. Because I like this mess a lot because you don't really even have to do anything with the frying pan. It's really easy to clean it off, too. Oh, yes. Definitely. Cool. So, since this is a sliver slice, it doesn't have the doesn't have the structure that yours did, but. I'm glad I left the hat on there a little bit longer. This top is definitely hot. 
How did uh, how did you learn about this method? No, I probably read about it somewhere. I'm not smart enough to figure this out myself. But it works great. And you know what? It only makes sense because the way you bake these really good crispy crust pizzas is on a brick hearth oven, which means that the floor is usually pieces of fire brick or soapstone. And those are really high mass and they conduct heat directly into the crust of the pizza. So this works really well. Anyway, let's heat up some more slices and we'll finish eating them. I hope that works for you whoever's watching this.